All right, Kenman here, and today's unboxing is for me. <laughs> what does that mean? What do I mean? Well, today's box is not for the die project. What? No jade? No, that's fine. This is uh, one that I've wanted for a while. Just uh, never got around to ordering it. Um, I felt a little bit saucy the other day and decided to pull the trigger. Here we are. Whoosh. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone and I purchase everything at retail price. And I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. All right, let's do this. Pow. Get in here. Nice, safe, couple little cuts. And here we go. It's a little Amazon box. Ooh. No, that was quick. Instantaneous gratification. We got a Civivi. And we have a box with a few bubbles. And get those out of here. Wipe this off real quick. All right. We have a Civivi. You all know I love my Civivis. And what one is it? What one have I been thinking about? Anyone have any thoughts on which one it might be? All right. Well, let's get in and check it out. All right, got your silica bag, got your normal pouch and dust. Savivi. Same info pack. Couple of stickers. Nice cloth. Here it is. Anyone recognize it now? <laughs> you set it down all weird, Kevin. I can't see through the that plastic bag. Well, let's just not waste any more time. Been making long videos with the dye project. Let's try not to make this one 25 minutes long. Okay, here we are. Look at you. Exciting. Glad to have this in my hand. This is the Civivi. <laughs> here we go. Chevalier. 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 I feel like it's Chevalier. I don't know. I don't, like I said, I've been wanting this one for a while. A lot of good things have said about this knife. And like I said, it's been kind of on my list. And I've been kind of just kind of doing other things. And here we are. Okay, it is button lock. It has a 14C28N blade steel. Nice sheep's foot blade. What does everyone think of the style that I got? They have a few different types. Um, I got the micarta handle. They have one or a couple in wood. I think one of them might be G10. I just I thought that micarta on this particular one would be fun. It's a dark green micarta. It kind of looks all black. Maybe certain angles you can kind of see it has a little bit of a green tint to it. I thought it kind of looked cool. Okay, we got a button lock, my card handle 14C28N. The pocket clip can be swapped to the other side. So, button lock for a lefty with a pocket clip swap. Happiness. All right. See if we need to maybe work that button in a little bit for a little while. It seems to be working pretty good so far. All right, let's try it. Yes, that fuller gives you the access. You can get in there and flip it open nicely. Oof, digging it. Happy I got it already. Good action. Once I play with it a few more hours or whatever sitting there watching a movie tonight or something gonna help break it in a little more but yeah this is already excellent 
what does everyone think about the Chevalier? Um, like I said, some of the videos I've watched on it have had good reviews. People have said good things about it. It's pretty nice uh, quality button lock. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, maybe one of the reasons I hadn't pulled the trigger on it um, as quickly. Um, can't remember exactly, but it's probably pushing $80. Um, so it's kind of on that top end of the budget knife world, but you do get some quality that 14 C 28 n steel um, and a nice button lock always kind of ups the price a little. So let's see if we can, it's all black on black today. I should have actually used the wood, um, help it pop a little bit more. So that blade looks like it's pretty much centered really nicely like it should be. There is no play in any direction which is awesome the button seems to just have a nice you engage it and it just drops uh, no plunge lock that i'm seeing if you watch metal complexes videos he's got some great videos very informative um, he calls it uh, plunge drag and what happens is it you know what you should be able to do is you push the button and it should just release that blade and if you push it in really far, it could get kind of stuck and kind of cause some drag. I don't see any of that happening right now. It feels like it's just nice and smooth. Ooh, liking it. Liking it a lot. I love a fuller groove. If you can use that to flick that out, that is just my style all day. So let's compare it to some other... Knives, I usually grab the CJRB Pyrite because it's a very common knife that's got a lot of cool things CJRB is doing with the Pyrite. And so it's something that's easy for people to compare size to. Looks like the handle on the Chevalier is a little bit bigger. The blade is a little bit longer, a little bit closer to more of a full-size knife. But they are fairly similar. They have a very similar feel and, and size in the hand. Um, let's grab some other... Civivis, I'm adding to my Civivi collection. This is the, oh my goodness, Civivi Altus, which is a really nice, I almost got this one in the wood. I think the Altus is one of the only ones I have that's in a wood handle. I need to get some more. I like wooden stuff. Oh my goodness, come on. This is the Appalachian Drifter 2. We have the Shredder with this Damascus. Look at the Damascus pattern on this. It's got that more of that shiny versus the dull that you see in a lot of the cheaper Damascus. Ugh, the shredder though, that looks sick. I like that knife. I need to carry it more. It's very similar to the Ortis. I like the Ortis a lot too, except for the, they made it light and so the frame can squeeze, or the, uh, sorry, the scale can squeeze on the frame. So when I go like this to flick it out, it puts pressure right there and it won't work. If I change it to there, it flicks out. little upsetting, but I do like that knife a lot. There's another one that they make. I can't remember what it's called, but they have a copper handled one that's very similar that I actually might pick up because it should be much more solid. Kind of fit in that style that I like. This is the Backlash. This is one of the first ones that they had or released originally for Civivi's line. I like how it's got the blue on the liner. It just gives it that extra little pop. This is a great, I mean, this is a budget knife, sure, but Ooh, what a nice knife. And that little pop just really gives it a nice kick. I quite like it. All right, we have the Exarch in copper. It is a front flipper, really nice looking gentleman's kind of knife. Heavy, this is probably the heaviest one I've got, but the copper really adds to it. But if you can get over that weight, it's pretty neat. This has got that darker kind of Damascus pattern, still a really nice pattern. And I've got the Civivi Mastodon. Why wouldn't you get a cleaver? I like cleavers. They're great. All right, I'm going to go show side here. So this is the Civivis that I have so far. I quite like the Civivi line. They've got some cool stuff. They make a quality product that this falls under the kind of the budget category. Yet, um, it's still a very cool 
and quality solid knives. Uh, I like them all. I haven't had any issues. This one's got that uh, textured handle as well. That's got the I don't know what they call that. It's like the it's not G10. It's like a fiberglass or I mean not a fiberglass, a carbon. <sighs> Boy. Kenner. It's like a carbon fiber inlay. It's got a cool texture to it. All right, Chevalier. Like it. What's everyone think? Everybody got a bunch of Civivis? You like the Civivi line? You liked what they're making? Uh, which one's your favorite on the table? Tell me about it. Having a good time ordering some stuff that I like. I've been doing a lot with the dye project. It's been going really well. Going to be doing some more. I still have six or so uh, knives for that dye project kind of on deck ready to get done. And it's been a really good time. But I know I, you know, I, I need knives in my life. I like looking at knives. I've always got a bunch of things on deck that I want to buy. I would like to have in my collection this Chevalier. Chevalier, <laughs> Chevalier um, was definitely one of them. Uh, I love button locks, so any button lock uh, is going to be kind of one that's on my radar because it does have that compatibility for the lefties. Um, the fact that I can put that pocket clip on the other side, that's going to be great. I'm going to get that flipped over right away, get this in my pocket, start carrying it, and uh, see how it goes for me. That's what I want to think. A lot of good stuff coming in the future. Uh, if you haven't subscribed uh, and you like what you see, please do so. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, do all the button things other than the dislike. Unless you dislike, you know, I understand. Um, but I'm going to keep making some vids. I hope uh, I can do some stuff that's entertaining for you. And uh, keep looking for some more stuff to add to the collection. Happy stuff. Boom. Boom. Stay sharp. We'll see you next time.